Hi, uh, this is Morgan of Old Key Project. I've um, I've been a Studio One user for a couple of years, and um, I like Studio One just fine. But uh, recently, I've started using Bitwig due to the amazing modulation capabilities. And uh, one of the things that I couldn't get to work in Bitwig was my favorite MIDI controller, the Atom SQ by Presonus. So uh, I decided to write my own extension for it and uh, this video is to show you the extension, uh, what it gives you and uh, yeah, how you install it. So to start, uh, you download the extension uh, from the link that I'll post in the description. You get an archive, you unzip the archive and uh, move the file from the archive to your extensions folder. So that's uh, on Windows documents, Bitwig Studio extensions. On Mac and Linux, that's different. With the file in place, we start Bitwig Studio. Make sure the Atom SQ is connected. And I'll start some project here. If we click settings now, we get um, if, if you're lucky, uh, your controller will be detected for you. Otherwise, no problems. You just add it. MIDI mode, at SQ here. And make sure the ports are ATM SQ. That's it for uh, setting up the extension. And you actually need to set up the MIDI controller as well. So set up and uh, the middle panel here at the bottom you have MCU, Huey mode and MIDI mode so make sure MIDI mode is active. Once we have that we should be able to use our controller. So it works and it's velocity sensitive as well. It's hard to see here in the video, but on the Atom SQ you actually have uh, pads with uh, different colors. So this one is green and this one is green. So that's uh, the root note of my scale. I have a blue scale now. I uh, can switch that to say for instance a major pentatonic. And in that case remove the one of the notes here. And we have a pentatonic scale here. And it's since uh, it lights up and you get different colors, it's really easy to see what's part of the scale. You can, of course, uh, run this in several different modes as well. So you can set the pads to uh, just uh, light up in different ways if they're part of the scale or not. Or you can do as I did uh, previously, just remove everything that's uh, outside of the scale. So we're playing here now. We can use these buttons to change what octave we're playing in. And uh, you can do the same with these buttons here. Um, these buttons, however, you can also set up to be MIDI CC. And uh, it's pretty convenient to have eight buttons of MIDI CC. Here we have the transport buttons. So you have stop, you have uh, play. Uh, you have a recording button and uh, you have uh, a metronome here. You can also use the shift button here and combine that with these. And then you have undo, uh, loop on off, you have save. So if I play, click here, it's actually saving my project. And uh, then you can uh, switch on and off uh, counting or pre-roll as it's called in Bitwig. Here we have a, uh, it's current, currently uh, controlling pitch, the, so it's a pitch strip. We can change that to do modulation. We can also use, uh, let's see here. We can 
also use MIDI CC. So I'll just move the window so you can see that. Like that. So we can learn MIDI CC from uh, modulation strip if you want. We can also use these eight knobs. And if we want, we could actually use uh, these buttons as well, but then it's just on and off, of course. The arrow keys here, you can use those to help you when you're in the piano roll. So you can move from, move between the notes. So previous and next, you can also use shift. and up and down to move the note up and down, uh, semi, semitone. You can move it like that as well. Um, so that's how the arrow keys are set up in the default configuration, but you can actually change that. So we'll leave uh, the arrow buttons with the uh, shift to be as arrow keys, but we'll set these up to be MIDI CC instead. And if we do that, we can actually, oh here, in the shortcuts, we can actually set up the controller to send whatever we want. And there are a lot of options here. So for instance, we could copy and like that. We can use our right arrow to copy. So that's a really convenient way to use the arrow keys. You can set them up to be whatever you want within Bitwig. And uh, that gives you uh, a lot of options. And considering you have also these eight buttons, you can uh, use them to switch between different views or layouts and select different things within Bitwig. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for this uh, controller. It's not like, like it's when you use it in, in uh, Studio One. The integration in Studio One is great. It's also a native mode integration in Ableton. I haven't used it there, but it's supposed to be good there as well. Uh, so if that's what you're expecting, uh, that's not what you're getting here. But what you're getting is the nice Atom SQ MIDI controller. Um, and you get this uh, pad, piano, uh, keyboard, that I really like to use. Uh, you get a fair amount of uh, control options from EDC C for uh, controlling your effects, VSTs, uh, for instance. And um, yeah, I think it's just a, a, a useful synth or useful MIDI controller as it is now. And uh, ha having it this way, yeah, I, I, I would prefer native support. Um, so, some kind of native support for AtomSQ in, in Bitwig, of course. Why, why shouldn't I? But it works and I'm happy with it. Uh, I can work with Bitwig and uh, not be bothered that the AtomSQ is not doing its job. So that's pretty much it. You, I programmed this uh, over a couple of evenings and uh, if you think you can improve on it, the source code is open, so go ahead, just uh, do what you want and uh, send your updates to GitHub and we can perhaps improve on it uh, together. Other than that, uh, go ahead and use it. Uh, it's uh, a lot better than what was there before, in my opinion. So, thank you.